Hello everyone, welcome to the video on this really awesome Python package uh, called YFinance. Now, YFinance is really cool because it can fetch the most up-to-date market data directly from Yahoo Finance for stocks, ETFs, or the broader market. Once you have access to that data, you can go ahead and uh, manipulate it and analyze it in any way you want. This is the page for the package that gives you some uh, really good examples of how you can use this package. For example, you can uh, uh, look at the information of the stock that you're interested in. You can look at its uh, history over some period that you are um, interested in as well. And you can look at things like their dividends, uh, stock splits that the company has done. And you can also look at analyst recommendations. So this package is quite versatile and it's really easy to use right out of the box. So now you can go ahead and install the latest version of this package using pip for which you can simply do pip install yfinance directly into your terminal window and now let's go over to python where we will look at some examples of how to use these some of these commands to analyze a historical stock market data. Okay now we are in python and I've already gone ahead and imported some of the packages that we will be needing. I've imported pandas that will allow us to analyze data as data frames and I'm going to use matplotlib to visualize some of the plots that we will make. I've also gone ahead and imported date time that will allow us to look at the historic stock performance and I'm going to be using the Seaborn plot style. Now to get started with YFinance what we can do is import it as YF and the company that we are going to look at is Microsoft for our example. And this line of code where we use yf.ticker msft uses the ticker symbol to obtain all of the information that is available in Yahoo Finance for this stock. We can go ahead and simply type in print msft.info and that will allow us to visualize what information about Microsoft we have. So what we can see is that Microsoft is a technology company with around 163,000 employees. Now there's also this long business summary that you can go ahead and read, but what you will notice is that this is a lot of information that is not very well presented, and it is actually quite difficult to read. So what we are going to do now is try to make this print out line by line. And to do that, we first need to find out what kind of a object this uh, msf, msft.info is returning. So we can now go ahead and simply do type and this should print out what this msft.info uh, is actually returning. And we see that it's a uh, dictionary. To deal with dictionaries what we can now do is simply store this in a variable called stock info and we can now go ahead and display this stock info line by line using a for loop where we go through each key value pair and print it out individually so if we run this line of code it should show us the information in a much simpler fashion okay that's a lot better so we can again see that it's a technology company with around 163,000 employees. Here is the business summary. Uh, it's located in Redmond. Here's their phone number, state Washington. And you can scroll through to see all of that information that is available to you simply through this msft.info command. So even though it is very useful to visualize all the information that is available to you line by line, sometimes you may only want one piece of information from this dot info method. For example, you may only be interested in learning what the number of outstanding shares for the company is at that point in time. For that, we can go ahead and return that information using this syntax. And we can go ahead and print num shares that will display what the current number of outstanding shares are for that company. And we can see the correct number is displayed here. Okay, so now we can go ahead and explore some of the other additional information that is available to us through the Y Finance package. For example, we can go ahead and look at things like what the current analyst recommendations are for this stock. 
as well as what the stock split history is uh, for Microsoft. So before we go ahead and print this, I'm going to comment out, comment out some of this old information so it is um, a little bit cleaner for us to visualize. So what we can see is on this date, uh, Argus Research gave Microsoft a buy rating and this was back in 2012. And in 2020, Deutsche Bank gave uh, Microsoft also a buy rating. And if we scroll down to look at the split history, we can see that dating back to 1987, Microsoft generally appears to double the number of stocks uh, that it has every now and then. We can also now go ahead and look at some other additional information such as the dividend history. And for that, we can just type in dividends as well as we can look at who some of the um, major holders are for this stock. So for that, we can just type in major holders. Again, we can see that dating back to around 2003 is when Microsoft first started um, issuing a dividend and that number has risen from around 8 cents back then to around 56 cents per share today. And if we scroll down, we can see that the number of shares held by insiders are a very low number compared to the number of shares held by institutions. So now to dive a little bit deeper into who these major institutions are holding the Microsoft stock, we can simply go ahead and type in institutional here, and that should show us who these major uh, holders of Microsoft stock are. Okay, and what we find out is that Vanguard Group is actually the largest holder of Microsoft stock followed by BlackRock. So far we found out a lot of great information about Microsoft stock and now the question is how can we actually uh, visualize and use this information and to do that I'm actually going to go ahead and use this uh, dividends uh, data. So I'm going to first start out by finding out what kind of a variable this msft.dividends uh, is returning. And to do that, I'm once again simply going to type in type and print that out. What we find out is that this uh, msft.dividends is actually a pandas data frame, which means we can simply go ahead and return this into a variable called df and if we now print df we can actually visualize what this data frame looks like and what we see is that uh, there is information about the dividend history dating back to 2003. Now we can go ahead and plot this information to make a nice visualization uh, for which I had actually written some code earlier to speed things along that I'm going that I'm going to paste over here. So what I've done is a few things. First of all, I've created this data frame from which I have resampled the uh, data into a new data frame called data. And I have resampled this by year. So if you notice uh, down here is that the dividend is paid multiple times throughout the year. And by using this sum method on a resampled data by year, what we can get is the cumulative amount of dividend that was paid for a particular year. Now we can go ahead and reset that index of that data frame using this uh, method called reset index and this will allow us to create a new column in our new data frame of data uh, where we just extract out what the uh, year is on that date uh, using this uh, little syntax of dot dt dot year. Then we can go ahead and use matplotlib to make a uh, plot of the dividend history and I'm actually going to go ahead and add a little bit more information to this plot. Particularly I am going to limit the number of years all the way back to 2002 uh, so that we are overall looking around a 20 year dividend history. So if I go ahead and plot this, we actually find out some interesting information.
So what we see is that Microsoft has actually increased its dividend very consistently over the last 20 years. And around 2010, there was an inflection where it appears that the rate of increase of the dividend uh, has uh, gone up. Now, you will see that in 2004, something uh, interesting happened where Microsoft actually paid out a very large dollar amount. And this appears to have been a one-off event where there was a special dividend issued to shareholders. So I hope you can see how useful this uh, Y Finance package is in terms of retrieving and manipulating um, data for a particular company. This video actually ended up being a little bit longer than I had anticipated. So I'm going to pick up on part two where I will look at the historical performance of Microsoft stock. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like or subscribe to help out the channel. Um, see you on part two.